Michael Steinhardt and I met one evening in Jerusalem at an Israel Museum function. Michael said he'd like to talk with me, and he mentioned a proposition that Elsie Valen had uh, discussed with both of us, and I had figured that this was not a very good thought because it would bankrupt the Jewish people, and it was to give every 17-year-old a voucher for a trip to Israel. And we started talking, and we both realized it was a very good idea, and that was the beginning, right then and there at the Israel Museum talking about birthright. Charles Bronkman has many rights. You know, he has done so much in his life. Charles knows always what he wants to do. He cares so much about the Jewish people and the state of Israel that for him, it's a very central uh, direction in his life. There was the first plane load that arrived at uh, Ben Gurion Airport. I was there. Uh, it, was, it was fabulous. There was dancing inside the hangar, and uh, some of the Israeli officials were there to greet the, uh, the young adults. It was uh, profound. Day one, when uh, our participants is just getting to Israel, uh, they are shocked, they are jet lagged, they are with a group they never met before, some of them never traveled outside of the States before. By the end of those 10 days, you can see how a true community is being created. There is no more powerful environment uh, for inspiring young people to want to explore their Jewish identity than the land of Israel. Birthright Israel today is the single largest educational program in the IDF. Every year we have about eight to nine thousand Israelis, most of them are soldiers and officers of the IDF, and uh, for them it's very, very impactful. So I think one of the greatest impact that I've witnessed uh, is especially during the Mifgash, when the Israelis are joining uh, our group. Um, and I think it creates a very interesting dialogue between the American and the Israelis when it comes to Judaism and how people practice their Judaism. When we finish our timeline with the question mark and asking after modern Israel, we ask them what's going to be the next chapter of the Jewish people, they feel that they're part of it and they can actually make a statement, they can do something, they can uh, impact how the Jewish uh, next chapter is going to look like. So your challenge, if I may, is to really, really get with it and to make sure that as many young adults as possible awaken to the idea that being Jewish is not only cool, it's very cool. <laughs>